A082, I will introduce about the inflation. The inflation is one of the quantity measure of the rate which reach the average price level of, of collecting goods and services. In a, in inflation can be the risk of the general level of price where the unit of the currency is active by less than inferior period. Inflation also can be calculated uh, in a number of ways based on the form of product and services. The inflation rate declines below, below 0%. Why we need the inflation? Because the first is about the short-term paper. Short-term paper gives us uh, the return on our saving uh, because of the inflation effect over the time. And one of the reason even the short-term paper offer a yield on our saving is because about the trade of inflation over the time. Leaders must know about the concentrated of taking risk and the biggest risk involved when the leading money. Okay. The second why we need the inflation is because the inflation and deflation bring about uh, about a very different set. Uh, of, of expectation about in the future, which can be sub subsequently effect, impact the present. Deflation is one of the reasons that the great deflation was, uh, was so devastating. Price across the board dropped by more than 10% and uh, early in 1920, it down uh, about 15%. It was such a dramatic uh, price level shift and of the money factor that can be filled this era with hard booms and nasty bus. Lastly, why we need the inflation? Because the saving of those who borrow money is much better offer. Anyone will be fixed uh, mortgage over the time. Hope the little inflation can they, they can pay off of their debts and less buy less buying. Uh, powers over the time. In fact, deflation is much better for the leader, the leader than the borrower. Inflation also, the, also can be represent more output than input. Economists want to be the economist prosperity as it will in invest viability allow income to increase. We have four types of uh, inflation in Malaysia. The first is about the uh, wage inflation. Wage inflation we can uh, use or, or call as a demand uh, pool or uh, inflation of surplus demand. This form of wage uh, inflation can be arranged as the overall demand for goods and services accepts the output of the same in, a, in an economy. The cost of the goods and services will increase as the supply is reduced, leading to the com condition called demand pool inflation. During the war time, this form of inflation ever adversely affect the domestic economy. Next, the cost uh, push inflation means like the name of suggests where if the expenses of import, product and service is raised, there can be expected to be more substantial spike in finished goods and services. For example, uh, when the uh, labor cost increase, the unit of cost of the production at, uh, will be increased higher or higher price of the associated the final product. This form of inflation may and no may exist within the context of demand pool inflation. Okay, uh, the, sec the third is the pricing power inflation. Growth of purchasing control is more commonly referred to the control demand growth. This form of the inflation occur, occurs as business horses and companies agree to lift the price of their respective goods and services in order to boost their profit margin. A notable observation is that purchasing force inflation doesn't not exist in period of financial crisis and global crisis. Last, uh, the, the, the top is inflation, is a central inflation. Central inflation is one of the places when the price of goods and services provided by a given segment of industry decrease. For example, increased crude oil prices will, will directly impact all their industry fall, fall, 
uh, industries uh, for all other industries that are closely related to the oil industry. The, uh, the incre increasing gasoline price has become an important economic related uh, concern around the world. For example, aviation industry. The set price will also get a uh, go up as the oil oil price increases. This will lead them to a massive, massive economy with inflation. Uh, those it start in one specific sector. That's all. Next is Taiwan. Malaysia is the world's best country because a top Pacific and prosperous country in the world. It boasts to be three one of the most vibrant economic in Southeast Asia, which is the result of decades of industrial development and political stability. Over the years, the government has successfully implemented the nation successful development and industrialization. Inflation negative effect include an increase in the opportunity of opportunity cost of holding money, uncertainty about future inflation that may discourage investment and the saving and if inflation is fast enough, shortage of good as consumer start hold start hoarding of concern that price will rise in future. Positive effect include reducing unemployment due to nominal wage rigidity, allowing more leeway for central bank to pressure monetary policy, encouraging loans and investment rather than holding money and avoiding the deflation rate inefficiency. Most economic today favor low and steady inflation. Low is opposite to zero or negative inflation. Reduce the severity of economic recession by allowing the labor market to adjust faster in downturn and reduce the risk that liquidity threat will prevent monetary policy from establishing the economy. Third is how to measure the inflation. Inflation as a measure by the consumer price index. The formula of last payers is usually used. Inflation is generally calculated in Malaysia and other countries as the percent change in the consumer price index CPI from one year to the next year. Other price index such as Produce price index or the so called GDP defector can also be used to calculate inflation. Most countries are trying to keep inflation about 2 until 3% a year somewhere. That too low to cost the business or household any problem. At the same time, it is conveniently distant from negative inflation such as deflation. Hi, my name is Nur Aisha binti Mislukum. I will present about the current economic condition for the country in the past 10 years. The economy of Malaysia is slowly recovering. In the first quarter of 2010, the Malaysian economy recorded double-digit growth of 10.1%. The rate of inflation is the annual rate of a price index increase, normally the index of consumer price over time. For example, if one year from now, the same item purchased today for one US dollar is purchased again, but for 1.03 US dollar, then the inflation rate is 3%. In general, each country seeks a low rate of inflation, and a rate of 3% is considered low, as is estimated for Malaysia in the next few years. Nevertheless, there has been a slight increase in Malaysia inflation rate, from nearly 2% in 2010 to a little over 3% in 2011. 
it decreased back to its normal rate in 2012, but future estimates once again predict a slight increase. Maybe this increase come from initial worry about the slowing economy of the country as the country GDP grows slow from 7.5%. 43 percent in 2010 to 5.19 percent in 2011 or its negative budget balance in relation to gdp that was 4.66 percent at its last worst in 2010 at the same time the national debt of the country also grow but predictions show that this trend is reversing Yet, the economic outlook and rate of inflation still appear stable for Malaysia for sure, and the rate of inflation is below the global rate of inflation. For your information, in 2010, on the supply side, positive growth was recorded in all sectors of the economy, especially in the construction sector. After higher construction activity in the civil engineering and non-residential subsector, the graph showed the rose future by 8.7% to 9.3%. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nuru Huda. Inflation happens when an economy is rising as as a result of higher spending. When that happens, the prices are rising and the currency of the economy is worth work less than it was before. There are several ways to manage inflation and some perform well, while others can do harm. For example, controlling inflation through which and price controls can cause of recession and job losses. Government can counter inflation inflation by using wage and price controls, but this can trigger job losses and recession. Government can also use a counter-inflationary monetary policy by reducing the supply of money within an economy via lower bond prices and higher interest rate. If the Federal Reserve raises its interest rate, then banks to, to have no choice but to raise their rates. When banks raise their rates, fewer people choose to borrow money because it costs more to do so. Even if even if the money occurred at a higher interest. Therefore consumption is falling, price are falling and inflation is slowing down. Government can also control inflation by using reserve requi- requirement or to increase reserve requ- re- requirement as to how much money banks are legally required to keep on hand to cover withdraw- withdrawal. The, man- the more money banks that need to hold back, the less that customer need to, to be lent. If they have less to lend, then customer will spend less, reducing expenditure. Next, reducing the supply of money means reducing the supply of money directly or indirectly by adopting policies which encourage a reduction of the supply of money. Two examples of this include calling in debt owing to the government and increasing interest paid on the bonds in order to buy them from more investors. Finally, because of high demand, government can raise the currency exchange rate by increasing import and lowering export in effect. This will reduce the amount of money in circulation because the money will go from the pockets of banks, business and investors to the government pockets where it will be able to control what happened. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Raghun Zambu. A188079 economy policy a uh, typical implement and demonstrated by government and it is the term used to describe government action uh, in this in this in this economic 
ekonomi polisi they have three policy such as fiscal policy monetary policy and direct control policy first fiscal policy is the mean by which a government adjust by rate to monitor and influence a nation economy next is monetary policy monetary policy is a central it a central bank action and communication that manage all the money supply Con last one is the direct control policy it is a control that directly imp impose up on the uh, up on the manufacture pricing and distribution of specific goods next is the way that can be used to control in inflation the policy that can the policy that government can take is to change is to change the amount of spending and impose they are tax to stabilize the country economy next is by using monetary policy like central bank by like central bank policy is to influence economy activity through its control over money supply and and interest rate in conclusion, the government has to focus on preserving economic prosperity. Fiscal accountability for this piece is an essential part of this. Government debt will rapidly become an economic burden, which is will lead to undermine its foundation. Strong macroeconomic policies are improving policy legitimacy and reinforcing the democratic institutions. This reputation is crucial for economic stability and long-term investment decisions that will allow Malaysia's economy to prosper. The government role in the economy is, in the narrowest sense, is to fix business deficiency or conditions, which is like uh, private enterprises that might not increase their profit that they produce for the societies. Next, most significant maybe, the federal government is directing the overall rate of economic development, seeking to sustain stable growth, high job rates, and market stability. In addition, government action to monitor inflation rates should be looked favorably, especially in the long run, as it results in something productive. Last but not least, it shows that government role is affecting the economic prosperity.